Cleopatra Entertainment's Shin Ultraman Blu-ray has finally released a third version of its disc. Is third time the charm? It's Morphin Time! Hello, this is Sam out here, and welcome to hopefully the last time I have to talk about Cleopatra Entertainment's Shin Ultraman Blu-ray release. I am not going to go over the history of how this all came together, because I did a video on that. If you haven't seen that video, pause this one, go watch that one, come back. I am not going through all that again. This has been one of the most disastrous disc releases of the year, or even the decade at this point, and we're finally at a good point, I have to say. So, the brief synopsis for those that have watched the video. First release, bad. Replacement disc did not fix the issues. So now we're on a third replacement, uh, or a third version of the disc. So second replacement, a version three disc, this time sent in a cheap plastic sleeve as opposed to the nice jewel case. I'm keeping this all straight, but this is going in my case soon. I have had so much discussion about this, going through how to get it, how to you know get this, get that, hearing from different people, Cleopatra Entertainment ignoring my emails twice. I finally got the new disc, okay? So if you want the new disc, if you bought this release, or if you're planning to buy this release, we're waiting to see if they're finally gonna fix it, the best way to get in contact with Cleopatra Entertainment is not through the Cleopatra Entertainment side, you need to go through their Cleopatra Records site. Uh, I have been linking people to the contact page for Cleopatra Records. Uh, it's the URL here on the screen, and then I'll link it in the description below, because that is the one that's actually yielded results for myself and many others. So if you're trying to get this disc, contact them, say you have this. If you already got a replacement disc before, they likely won't even ask you for anything. They'll just send you the new one upon request. But you do need to request it. It's not like they're just sending them out to everybody. So whether you have the original release, whether you have this release, or you have the new release, let's talk about the newest release. I have heard from some people that if you do order this through the Cleopatra store, this is usually bundled right with it. So you're getting the newest disc. And so I think it's important that in order to properly document this, we're gonna look at the disc, because there is an actual physical difference this time, so you know what version you have, and then look at all of my points that I had complaints about with the version two disc in the last video. I'm going to address every single one of those for this version three. That way we have an overall look at every single possible thing that we could be wondering about and can actually determine, is this good? You know, the one thing I think about here with all this is, um, I have to pay for most of it. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about the physical disc because we actually have a change. So with the replacement disc, this is the replacement disc, the first one. Here is the original disc, which I put a sticky note on it that says bad uh, to remind myself that's the bad one. They look uh, pretty much identical. I think there may be like um, a manufacturer notation difference on the inside ring or something. It's hard to tell which is the original. Uh, the version 3 disc, however, does change one little detail that does everything. It added the word subtitled, which just feels like them self-dunking on themselves, but whatever at this point. Uh, yeah, if you're looking to know if you got the most recent and probably the last version of the disc that's coming out, if it says subtitled on the bottom, you're good. If it doesn't, you might not be. But of course, we will go over the differences that make you make sure you know if you've got the most recent disc. So if you buy this and you want to get a replacement disc, if, it, if you open the case and find out it doesn't say subtitled, email them away. Link is in the description for that. Uh, get your replacement disc. Because this, let's take a look at it and, and determine, is this uh, finally it? Is this finally the last version of this disc we have to look at? All right, let's go over the disc itself, starting with the menu. So I really don't care about this, but uh, the logo still has all those compositing errors that came from the Photoshop job not being properly completed. Whatever at this point. So on the previous release, the subtitle menu was pretty straightforward to provide, you know, the basics of what we we're looking at, right? I want to let everybody know you're not ready to see the new subtitle menu. Here we go. Behold, the dumbest menu I've seen in my entire life. They solved one problem. I mentioned how we needed to have subtitles for the original Japanese dialogue, but also keeping the dub titles was good for the hearing impaired. And so what they did instead of making a menu where you select an audio option, then select a subtitle track option, you get 
Then here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different options. Okay, look. At this point, they gotta be just screwing with me, right? Like, this is this is stupid. It's nice that we got it, and it, it you know, ultimately we're gonna look at like how the subtitles are and all that in a moment, but you just needed Japanese, English, English, and then choose subtitles as being Japanese dialogue, English closed captioning, or off. Not, you know, English subtitles of Japanese dialogue with Japanese English English, or English subtitles from English dub with Japanese English English, or subtitles off with Japanese English English. This is ridiculous. Adding to the ridiculousness of the subtitles, as you can see, subtitle 1 English, subtitle 2 English, and subtitle off. It just could be a toggle menu in the menu, not this multiple thing. It, it's the same thing as you can toggle it just in your settings. So Japanese, English 5.1, English 2.0. Uh, this is going to be making my job easier instead of going back to their dumb menu each time. We are running with Japanese audio and the English subtitles based on the Japanese dialogue. And as you can see, they have actually changed the way they did the on-screen text. Before, a giant unidentified life form appears, appeared closer to the subtitle text. Now they put it above, so it's not obstructing too much of Gomez's uh, body here. That is a nice welcome change. Now let's switch from that to the second subtitle option. So now as you can see, we're on subtitle track two. Text is still above. I like it. It looks nice and clean. Now the question is, just like with before, if we turn the subtitle track off, are we still going to get the on-screen text? Huzzah! Problem solved. As you can see, subtitles are listed as off, but the on-screen text is hard-coded into the video. While it doesn't give us a clean presentation like the previous disc version did, this is definitely preferable to not having the on-screen text translated at all. Very glad to at least see that we've got that corrected, so that way when you switch from Japanese audio over to your English audio, you still have your on-screen text without having to have the subtitles. Now, for those wondering how they handle the screens that have a lot of text, they just run as many lines as they can along the top. It works. It works. I think that's exactly how it was in the theater, too. Okay, so now we're presenting the new English subtitles for the Japanese dialogue with the Japanese audio. Uh, this is going to show us how the line is translated. It is, we are assuming command as of this moment. Let me switch over to the second option, which is supposed to be the dub title track. So now you can see we're on subtitle option two, which is the dub titles. Japanese audio is still there, but of course we can switch it to English audio. That's not relevant to the sub subtitles. But now it says we are assuming immediate command of this operation, which is how it's presented in the English dub. So they are two different translation tracks. Thank you. That's what I was asking for from the beginning. You may remember this scene from my first video because I talked about how the subtitles had the descriptions of sound effects. She, you know, sighed, so it had a little text aside. I'm probably putting up a little thing here as a comparison. There is none of that in either subtitle track. And the video error that took place at 3724, the little green dots in the corner, all gone now. Good job. The song lyrics have been kept in the ending credits in both tracks. So as you can see, subtitles to English, and on one, they both have the subtitles. So honestly, it's an improvement in a lot of ways. All right, so I'm going to call it. Third time was the charm. This third version disc is the best that it's going to get from Cleopatra Entertainment. While there's still some weird audio things that we could spend hours going into, and I really don't feel like I have the energy anymore, and while there is like a lack of bonus features of any kind, this is now up to the industry standard. The only thing I don't like on this new disc is that stupid-ass setup menu. That is one of the dumbest-looking things I've ever seen. Like, we have been doing discs with multiple audio and, and subtitle options for decades. There's a, there's a system to it. The system is not list all nine options in one row. Luckily, you can just hit the button on your, your remote for audio or subtitle switching to keep up with that. But the point is, is that if you're going to get Shin Ultraman from Cleopatra Entertainment, which is not necessarily the best release, this is the best version of it. So if you have gotten it, I highly implore you to get the newest disc. It is absolutely the best overall. But one of the biggest things was having the on-screen text burned in, so that way, no matter what subtitle option you're using, you had the on-screen text. And then also having Japanese version subtitles and English dub closed captioning. It did seem like they sourced a very similar or the same translation that was done by Sean Nichols for the theatrical release for the Japanese version. But again, that's getting into a whole nother weeds of let me go look up all the, the line differences. It's done. This is it. This, there's no reason to do a fourth disc. 
uh, it was kind of stupid to have to do a third. Uh, most companies, when they have some kind of error on a disc, will offer a replacement disc. I've never seen a company have to offer a second. So I will be wary going forward into Cleopatra Entertainment's future releases. Hopefully they don't get anything I like. That would be really great. I have had a frustrating experience trying to find out about what the problems are, to actually get in contact with them because they tend to just ignore most of my emails. It's a very frustrating company to deal with. The fact that I have sort of become one of the foremost voices saying, here's how to get your replacement disc since the company itself has never actually acknowledged it. You just have to kind of find out from people. It's, it's not been a great experience. But at the end of the day, I can say the version 3 disc is the best version of the Cleopatra release of Shin Ultraman. And for me at this point, I'm not going to be ragging on it any further. It's done. The Shin Ultraman Cleopatra Entertainment Saga is complete. So on that note, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see from the Ultraman videos, because after this, I mean, we got some compilations coming out from Mill Creek. Not the most exciting things in the world, but I will probably review them at some point, so you want to stay tuned. Check out other videos if you haven't. We're once again in a little lull spot with Tokusatsu physical disc releases, so... We'll see what happens uh, soon. Um, hopefully, hopefully things pick up again. It's it's been a little while. But on that note, check out our Monday live streams at 5 p.m. Eastern here on this YouTube channel, where we talk about all kinds of news related to Tokusatsu, physical media, Blu-rays, all kinds of good stuff. And if you want to discuss all of that, check out the link below to get an invite link to the Discord server where we have those awesome discussions every single day. Also, if you want to find me on social media, otherwise, you can find me at SoundOut12. You can find my Oscar Designer on the Discord server and on social media at DarkClaw643. And you can find Hero Club at Hero-Club.com for tokusatsu interviews, news, reviews, and more. And until next time, this is SoundOut saying goodbye.